Well, I think it's fairly safe to say that uh, this year, 2012, will be a year of stabilization and uh, possibly some uh, reduction. I think to give very round figures, we were last year around uh, $8 billion uh, for the overall peacekeeping budget. I think this year we will be more in the region of 7, 000, $7 billion. Why? Because there are a number of uh, missions, you know, who have uh, gone through a critical stage and probably uh, we will be able to start looking at their downsizing somewhat. Well, I think uh, we have I would say the most pressing issue right now is the relationship between North and South, the relationship between what has become two countries who decided to divorce uh, last year, actually went to the divorce, but have left aside so far the so-called practicalities that have to do with the fact that they have to live together. You can't change geography, you can't change realities, and there are a number of issues which have to be sorted out. Physically, it treats them uh, psychologically. Somalia, where, as you know, we have a window of opportunity given uh, to us by the fact that uh, the Shababs have been uh, pushed out from uh, essentially uh, all of Mogadishu, where the intervention of uh, regional countries in the south and the, in the west is creating an entirely new strategic uh, situation, and I think we have to seize that opportunity. I, I don't think it is a matter of exclusion. If something goes wrong, it proves that the messages have not been uh, spread around, that the uh, vigilance of uh, the hierarchy has not been effective. I think that it is true. I think we did the job in Zhonglei because had we not insisted in convincing the government of South Sudan that this was not a local skirmish, that this was a large-scale issue of a national scale, and that they concluded eventually was indeed the case. Had we not done that, I think the victims could very well have been in the thousands, if not many more. It's important also for this uh, 